What's up, peoples of YouTube? <sighs> Where should I begin? That is the question. Because there's so, there's so much... Blah, there's so much shit to cover in this video. And I only got 10 minutes because of the stupid, retarded 10 minute limit on my iPod. So yeah, I should probably get an actual video camera to do my to do all future YouTube videos with, but for now this is all I've got because I'm poor. Yes, I'm poor. But anyway, um Okay, so <laughs> with everything that the government is involved in, there is a lot of corrupt there are a lot of corrupt things that the government is involved in mixed in that the American people should be in full knowledge of because this sh this stuff is vitally important for and people uh, well it's vitally important for uh, to the world and everyone in this country needs to know what our government is really up to but anyway Everything, so we've seen all these scandals that our government's been involved in, every, everything from the IRS targeting conservative groups to the NSA spy network spying on every single American citizen's emails, phone calls, and no, it's not just metadata, it's the actual phone conversation. Like they can actually, if they, if they hear a certain number of keywords, the government can have their NSA employees tune in to your phone to your to your exact phone call and listen to you and whoever else you're talking to right there on their spy grid. Uh, and yeah, they're also they can also they can also see of course what you type as you're typing it. You don't even have to hit send in an email for crying out loud. And even if you erase it right after you type it, they still have it in their database. But anyway, and then we also got the Benghazi scandal, and I don't even know what, I don't even, I don't have that much time to talk about everything, but anyway, so yeah, the, two days ago, August, on August 2nd, 2013, the Benghazi scandal just fucking exploded all over the mainstream media, and all these news networks worldwide, and less than 24 hours later, Obama, Obama, Obama with an O, blah blah blah, O dumber, Oh, bummer. Whatever you want to call him. He basically issued a worldwide terror, terror threat warning. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure to most people, it's not a coincidence that Obama issued that less than 24 hours after the, after the, after the Benghazi scandal got fully exposed all over the mainstream media and, ev and everywhere else, like I said. So... Um, what's this all mean? Well, I'll tell you what it means. Based on what I know. And I'm sure you, I'm sure, and I'm sure most of you share the same exact opinion. The government is trying to slowly take away our freedoms and liberties under the pretext of terrorism. So basically, they're going to basically, uh, the government's going to basically keep ramping up these false flag attacks like the Boston bombing. And yes, I do believe 9-11 was an inside job at this point. I do, and I, I don't believe it was fully, it was solely the, our own government who did 9-11. I believe it was the government uh, working with Al-Qaeda or at least the government egging Al-Qaeda on and the government uh, letting Al-Qaeda attack us without putting any fighter jets in the air to shoot down the, the airline planes before they hit the towers. So either way, well, either which way you want to slice it. I do believe 9-11 was an inside job and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, um... So they're going to keep ramping up these false flag false flag attacks and they're going to keep and they're going to do it at an increasing rate and there's going to be more and more as time goes on. Uh, and they're and and they're going to allow that to give them the excuse to set up checkpoints and martial law type uh, type systems and setups in this country. 
and then martial law will be fully and then at some point martial law will be fully implemented and yeah fully implemented and everyone will be subject to it everyone i don't care where you live if they find you living out in the boonies in some log cabin cabin they're going to keep they're well they're going to have they're going to try and have a record of everybody and keep everybody in line now i now now here's the thing i don't think the american people are going to are going to let it get to that point because once you once once you push push the american people past the point of no return we are all going everyone that cares about freedom and liberty is going to snap and by sta and by snapping i mean an all out second american revolution now i do not advocate a violent revolution what i want to see is mass civil disobedience from everyone who wants to make a difference and i mean everyone everyone whether you're on the bench and you're not sure whether whether you want to get involved or not just do it just get involved uh, I don't care if he, all you're doing is doing is is putting up impeachment signs on the side of the road. Do something, which that's not really civil disobedience. But what I really want to see people do is things like don't is is things like stop paying the, your own fucking taxes. If, if everyone could, or if most people. Or not, or if just thirty percent or more could stop paying their taxes for one day, or so, it would, it would, it would put a wrench in the machine, and the government would not be able to function, and all the government officials that are enjoying their wealth and prosperity would suffer. They would all suffer, and they would listen to the American people and get rid of all the bullshit laws, get rid of the NDAA, get rid of, get rid of the Patriot Act, get rid of all this bullshit, um, and everything. And if they don't listen, then we then we continue to not pay our taxes until the system collapses and then we replace it with what the constitution uh with well yeah with the constitution we replace we replace everything and override everything with the constitution and and give everybody equal freedom equal equal rights equal liberties equal everything i don't care who you are everybody deserves equal rights and everything else under the sun that everybody else gets everybody deserves everything everybody else gets and like i'm a libertarian and i i believe in i believe in people being able to do what they want to do as long as it does not as long as it does not harm another person which there is an ex there's an exception to even that if the other person wants to be harmed like sincerely wants to be harmed for like an experiment or whatever then then so be it then so be it so there's even an exception to that so under the libertarian philosophy everyone should be allowed to smoke pot which i don't really i don't smoke i've never smoked a uh, pot or anything even though it's legal in washington state and yes that's where i live um still legal under the federal system um but it, but yeah, people, like I'm saying, people should have the right to do all of that stuff, whether it be pot or walking down a, uh, a, in the city of wherever you live with a rifle on your back and not being heck, heckled by the cops. Whatever. But anyway, I'm, I have about I'm, I have less than a minute left, uh, so I have to cut this a little short. My point is. My point, my point about this whole thing is, is that people need to take a stand. And right now, I don't care if you listen to Alex Jones, C. Green, Fox News. I don't care where you get your information from. I don't care. I don't, yeah, I don't care where you get any of your information from. All I know is that all of you, including me, and I'm starting to do this more, is to take a stand. We all need to take a stand against corruption and tyranny. We all need to stand by, defend, and actually follow the Constitution of the United States of America. If we do that, then people, then everybody will will be and remain free as long as we stay vigilant. Peace out. See you later, peoples.